Welcome to this recorded session on using the Quiz Manager in Illuminate Live. My name is Amanda Reed. I'm going to take a few minutes just to step you through the very basics of adding a quiz into your Illuminate session. The Quiz Manager is available for the moderator by clicking on the Quiz Manager button. We're going to Window, Quiz Manager. You can create multiple choice or short answer quiz types of questions. You can reuse previously created questions, so you can come in and create them once and re-import it over and over again into your Illuminate session. You can even import an existing quiz and edit it to create a brand new quiz. Our basic steps are we're going to open up the quiz manager and we're going to create a brand new quiz. So you're going to click on the, the button that creates a new quiz. Go ahead and give that quiz a name. From there, we're going to start working with the various buttons over here. Uh, first off, creating questions. So these are our basic steps. Create a brand new quiz, give it a name. Add the question text. So we're going to add questions by clicking on the question mark with a plus sign. Keep doing that. Keep adding questions, adding questions. In this case, we're going to add a multiple choice type of question. Or clicking on the little A uh, allows you to add a short answer question. Where it says new question, you want to add your question text, add your question results, or, or answers rather. Uh, then you need to identify the correct one. They all have a red X, just simply click on that to say which one is the correct. And there is just a one single correct answer. You can reorder those answers and you can delete them as well. So you're just going to keep going through that process. Keep hitting the question mark to create brand new questions, multiple choice or short answer. That's how you're going to create all of your questions. Once you've created all of the questions, you most likely are going to want to save. If you've decided you didn't want to save it, just go ahead and close out. But most of the time, you're going to want to save and return to the library. The next step is to administer the quiz. So now we have our quiz. You could have multiple quizzes here. Uh, but let's, uh, let's say you just have this one quiz. Select the quiz. Click on the button with a little magnifying glass. It's going to pop up the quiz, let you go ahead and preview it. You can flip through the questions. Just double check, make sure you got the right one. When you're ready to administer it, you simply click the Start button. By the way, you also can add a timer if you want it to be a timed quiz. And when the timer runs out, your participants will no longer be able to answer that, uh, that particular quiz. So we're going to go ahead and start the quiz. So now we've basically pushed it out to our participants. By the way, if you're ever trying to practice this in an Illuminate room uh, and you're logged in as a moderator and you do not have any participants, you will not be able to start the quiz. So you must have at least one participant in the session to start that quiz. Now the, the participants are going to have the ability to go through each question. So they're going to answer the question, move to the next one, answer the question, move to the next one, until they get to the end. And then they have to hand in the quiz. So it's a good thing if you have new users, uh, they've never taken a quiz before, you'll certainly want to coach them a little bit on making sure they click all the way through, tell them how many questions there are, make sure they answer them all, and then tell them to hand in the quiz. Now for the moderator's view, what you're going to be seeing is a little update. This says two out of three. So I have three participants, two have submitted their quizzes. I can look at a summary of all the answers, or I can go look at the individual responses. So I can see Bill's answers, and I can see Mike's answers, then I can go to that summary. And once again, I'll know when everybody is submitted. Not only will this be complete, but also I'll see all of their names. So that's what the moderator gets to see. The moderator gets to see exactly, did they get it right, did they get it wrong, and gets to monitor that quiz result. The moderator also can choose to show the student's answers and statistics. So there's a, another button here, the one with the little green check and red X. This does not show individual results. It's just going to show overall two out of three answered lock room, and that was incorrect, and one person answered correctly. So this is just a great way now. You've given the feedback. You could review with the class, give it an idea of maybe where you should spend a little bit more time, let the class know basically what those results were as well. I can save the quizzes. So I can all the quizzes will be saved in my library. I can save it as a single quiz, and it's this .vcq format. So maybe I had five quizzes during a class. I could save them all in a single file, or I could save them individually, completely up to me. And it's going to save in the VCQ format. 
this is the format that I'm looking for when I go to import a quiz into an Illuminate session as well. It also can be opened up in an Excel using Microsoft Excel, so if you want to get to those results. Really encourage you to take advantage of LearnCentral.org. A lot of great stuff happening there, especially the Illuminati group, which is a group of Illuminate customers, power users, great place to ask questions, get to know other folks in the community, um, and just to share your tips and best practices. As well, Illuminate.com training. We have quick reference guides, recordings, documentation, and the ability to sign up for live online training. Thanks for taking the time to watch this recording. Uh, enjoy using the quiz manager in your Illuminate sessions.